Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for November 12th through the 18th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now we're just going to see whatever comes up. Typically I focus on love readings. We'll just see whatever happens, happens, right? Uh, you know, you guys may be needing to relight that flame inside. You know, you need to... It's like there's some sort of spark that may have been put out and it needs to be relit, you know? I had a really hard time getting this candle to light for you guys. I mean, I had to dump it and get it to... I mean, it had a had a hard time. There's a message in everything. There's no such thing as coincidence. Remember that. That's something you need to hear. There's no such thing as coincidence. Pay attention to the signs. If you run into somebody by coincidence, it's not really coincidence. There's a reason why I had a hard time lighting that candle. Because it's not easy to pick yourself back up sometimes. It's not. Sometimes you have to remove something that doesn't serve you to shine again. Okay? Because I had to dump the wax out, the whole nine yards. Okay? I had, to, I had to remove the obstacle. So maybe there's an obstacle that needs to be removed so that you can be successful, you know? So that you can get that fire to burn again. Love it when they fall out, don't you? Ooh. Now you may be afraid. You may be afraid of being taken advantage of. Maybe you feel like you have been taking adva taken advantage of. Maybe you... Lack faith at this time, period. It's like, I don't have any faith. I don't. You know? You may be holding on to something from the past that needs to be let go of. Oh, and look at that. You need to get grounded, come back to reality. Be practical. Maybe you need to work a little bit harder on something. This is the Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with this woman, I don't know. Or she may be helping you or she may have something. She may be able to help you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Teamwork is needed. This is um, appreciation, respect, putting in effort, learning new things, working together. Leads to happiness, commitment. So you may have a new person or this could be somebody that's in your life now or somebody that is on the outside that can help you to stabilize or has something stable for you. This person is very loyal, stable, secure, and generous. Hmm. But somebody's not putting in enough work. Or they're not a hard worker. Somebody's not working hard enough. And this woman is very hard worker. Work, 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 work. So I'm not sure what this... And this is needing to work together and learn new things. Hmm. Uh-oh. Now, see, this is funny. It's not funny. But if you think about this, the sun, it's like the fire has been put out. You guys may have lost some of your ambition to do something. There's a lack of passion, a lack of ambition, a lack of, like your energy has been drained. Somebody has drained your energy. Maybe you were dealing with somebody who didn't put in any work and now your energy has been drained and you got to get it back. And that happens a lot, doesn't it? Anyway, this is an opportunity for happiness. It will come. It's around the corner. Okay, this is the corner. It's around the corner. Happiness, contentment, bliss, whatever. The Four of Wands, commitment is around the corner. 
But in order to get this commitment, somebody's going to have to work harder. Whatever that, to relight that passion and fire within them. Uh-oh, somebody's holding on to something that doesn't serve them. When you get the death reversed, you're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. And it needs to be released. We have Leo. That's in reverse. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. I don't know. But this is holding on to something. Could be a commitment that you were once committed to. It needs to be released. I don't know. Wanting to work together with somebody that has no growth. This is no growth. Need to get practical here. This is Scorpio. This is you. Holding on to some sort of commitment. You may, maybe in your head, you're committed to something and you're living some fantasy. I don't freaking know. Let's see. Not taking action in the direction that you're supposed to be. Damn it. Yes, you need to have faith. This is Taurus. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Let me get the last card. And plant your seeds in another garden. Oh my God. So Scorpio, you need to put your energy, your time, and your effort into a different arena. You are allowing yourself to be stuck to something that is a dead end. Are you committed to a dead end? Do, do, you, do you believe that whatever it is that you're holding on to you're, is going to lead to commitment when whoever it is that you're holding on to, it's like it's not coming to fruition? It's like you've been waiting forever for something to work out and it's not working out. You're wasting your time on something. Whoever you're waiting for isn't taking any action. They're not putting in effort and you're still holding on to them. Is that what this is? You're allowing yourself to be taken advantage of. They're sucking you dry. It's like you're, they're taking your energy. It's draining you. It's not making you happy. You have to be realistic here. You do. Make sure. Woo! Yeah, somebody is not being realistic. That's for damn sure. You could, there, it's like, not accepting the truth, not being truthful. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, and there could have been some harsh words. And there could even be some some vindictiveness here. Maybe you're maybe you need to get revenge, okay? Maybe you're in a spot where I need to get revenge for the hurt that they have caused me. Well, wow. okay, well. Wow. You get revenge, don't expect to get rewarded for that. You go ahead and take revenge, Scorpio. And I know that there's some Scorpios out there that are looking for revenge because I read the comments, okay? I read it. I approve all my comments. And I've seen one Scorpio comment in particular where this woman is out for revenge. She's like, she's going to make somebody lose their job and all that. Well, you go for it, honey. You go for it. You'll be next in line. You will be next in line. Don't think the universe won't, won't hit you back. Because they will. Expect to get what you give. Revenge and vindictiveness gets you nowhere. It doesn't. It might give you instant gratification. But in the end, you will be the one that suffers. Because what you give, you will get. You will get it when you least expect it. When you're happy. They will remember what you did. And I'm not talking about that person. I'm talking about the universe. God, angels, spirits, whatever it is. There is a hidden force that is watching your actions. So this is a very revengeful woman. Whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. Be careful. Be careful with revenge because you will get 
back exactly what you give out. Anyhow, I just had to say that. <laughs> you have to be strong. You have to be confident. You have to be focused. And you need, need to relight that fire within. Don't let negative feelings and thoughts in the past hurt hold you back from being the boss of your own life. You have the knowledge and the skills and the strength and the discipline and the willpower to pick yourself back up from rock bottom and become right back in the lead again. To take the lead. And if you are a man... You have multiple opportunities for women. You have multiple choices. Don't let the one that hurt you make you so vindictive and revengeful that you miss this opportunity. You have a choice between three people. Choose wisely. Follow your, your inner guide. And stop holding on to anything that hurts you. We have somebody here that's not mastering their emotions at all. Not being realistic, not being grounded. Cold, detached, emotionally unavailable. Maybe, I think it's a man, right? I mean, this is a man that is emotionally unavailable. And this woman is worth somebody that is emotionally available. And she knows it. She knows it. So we... Let me get this card right here. Yeah, you're going to get what you deserve. This is about give and take. This is what I was just explaining to you. You get what you put out. And somebody didn't put in effort to make a successful relationship. There could have been a third party situation. I mean, we have three queens here. And we have a man. One man. Do we have another man? We don't. We have one man and three queens. So I think that, you know... You could be faced with some conflict. You could be faced with some conflict because there's too many people in the in the picture. Too many fingers in the pie by the looks of things. And now you're going to need to to really release something that you're holding on to something and this is codependency it's hard to let go it's hard to let go of animosity it's hard to let go of bitterness it's hard to let go of a person that hurt you without getting revenge but you always get remember i always say you gotta look what's mirroring revenge will get you exactly what you deserve you may think that you're gonna get a reward but you won't Okay, the, the, the strongest person is able to restrain themselves. The Queen of Wands is able to restrain herself. She is strength, the strength to restrain. 
restrain yourself from acting impulsively because payback is a bitch. Just saying. I don't know where this message is coming from, but obviously somebody needs to hear it. Anyway, we're going to change it up right now. <laughs> we're going to try to. Anyway, this card we're going to look at because it went underneath that floor. Ooh, emotional shutdown. Somebody's heart has been broken, right? It's bleeding. I don't even need the blood to see it. Somebody has shut down emotionally because the person that they really want to be with is not moving in their direction. And therefore, they're probably bitter and upset. But you have other opportunities here. You do. You need to hold your head up high. Restrain yourself from any kind of vindictiveness. And be wise enough and strong enough to just walk away. Be grateful for the experiences that you've learned. You're better off on your own than in this one-sided situation that you've been in. Relight your own fire. Don't let the negative thoughts and feelings hold you back because that's all it's doing. And you sure as hell don't want to bring yourself some bad karma by acting vindictively. Because if you do, it will come when you are happy. Be grateful for the experiences. Enjoy your singlehood while you can because around the corner you're going to find happiness. With somebody that is better suited for you. But you have to let go of those thoughts of betrayal. You have to ha stop holding on to the dead end. It's over. It's over. It's done. Let this cycle complete so that you can get what you deserve in a good way. Endings bring new beginnings. But holding on to something that is dead with the death card reversed is not allowing it to end. If you're holding on even emotionally, you have to let it go. So that you can get the happiness that you deserve. But we have somebody here that can't master their emotions. They're not thinking clearly. Clearly, It's like, wow, cry, poor me. You know, I hate the world. I'm so angry. I'm so upset. I, this is ridiculous. In the whole nine yards, it's like very, very upset. Holding on to that. Whatever it is that you're going through, you know, that loss is only going to hinder your progress. You deserve to be loved. You do. Don't let, let anger and rejection steal your fire, you know, steal, steal your light. Because allowing this person to still hinder your progress isn't going to bring you any abundance. It's going to cause a loss. You need to turn away from this, from the fight. Enjoy yourself. Love yourself. Be happy where you're at. Enjoy the small things. The storm is over. Look at it like that. This storm is over. It ended for a reason. Around the corner, you have happiness as soon as you let go of those thoughts. Look at the look on his face. Let go. 
of those thoughts. It hurts. I know. I know it hurts. It hurts bad. You have to face it. Something has ended. But with endings bring new beginnings. Stop holding on to it. You deserve love. So there could be somebody moving. Somebody deciding to move. I'm going on my own. Or they've been put out on their own and they're upset. You know, the King of Cups is very codependent. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Maybe you need to learn to fly solo again to find your self-worth. To figure out who you are at this time. Maybe you need to be patient. Somebody is not realizing that they have opportunities in the future. You should be getting yourself prepared during this time for the best love of your life. Take this time to get prepared. Stop focusing on the hurt. You're wasting your time crying over spilled milk when you should be getting prepared for a new life, a new beginning, in a new direction. Stop focusing on this person that hurt you. That held you back. Yep, six of cups. Somebody is reminiscing about all the memories. Thinking about all the memories, thinking about all the love they could have. But I have to tell you that there's also a, a connection here with somebody else. And I'm saying somebody else. It's not the person that you're holding on to. I'm sorry. It's not. You have a new connection. Because we have this new beginning here. We do. The worst is over. Even though you may not see it that way. Well, let me just fix that for a second. The worst may not be over. If you act vindictively. Because I see vindictive behavior here. Remember I said you'll get... If you act vindictively, prepare to... Suffer for a little bit longer until you can grow up enough to realize that that's not the way to act, but whatever. Anyway, uh, there's, a, there's going to be a new opportunity with somebody that you knew from childhood. This is somebody that you knew from childhood. To come together, and you may uh, run into this person at some sort of celebration. Okay, there could be a celebration and you run into this person and uh, there's, an, there's an instant attraction. Okay, there's, they're very attractive. They think you're attractive. You know, there's a mutual attraction here between people. And you're drawn towards this person. And there's an opportunity for this to lead to some sort of love connection. But it's not the one that you are upset over. Okay, it's not. It's a, it's a blessing being brought to you from above. It's the reward that you are looking for. It's a dream come true. This person is going to help you heal. If you are ready to let go of the animosity that the past has caused you. So, I believe that you have an opportunity to connect with somebody that you knew when you were a child. It's after you become single and you're happy. This is single and, I, and I'm happy about it. 
You will have a connection with somebody from your childhood. I know that's what this is. I just feel it very strongly. And it's a dream come true. It's sent from you, is sent to you from above to help you heal from this hurt that you have been suffering from. Be prepared to reconnect with somebody that you knew when you were very, very young. I don't know where that's coming from. It's going to be unexpected. It is going to be unexpected. And it could lead to commitment and marriage. Commitment, marriage, commitment, marriage. Whoever this person is, that is, is coming, that you're going to run into, is, it's a soulmate. It is a soulmate. It's a soulmate connection. It's not the one that hurt you. So get that out of your head right now. That relationship is over. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I am not going to be sugarcoating it or buttering it up or adding some fluff to that sandwich. It's not going to happen. The truth is, whoever it is that hurt you is over. And you have a new opportunity for happiness when you let go of that thought that this is the only person I can be with. You have somebody that's better suited for you that you have known since you were a child. I know that's what this is. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I think it's you. I do. Not wanting to believe that the one isn't the one. You got somebody else. Believe it. Could be Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be anybody. Just. Just saying. You have to believe. You have to have faith. That everything happens for a reason. One more. Oh, I knew it too. I did. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. There is. It's not with the person that hurt you. You have a new connection coming in. And there's going to be an instant attraction that is undeniable. Believe it. Good luck.